When Kim Kardashian took the podium at the roast of Tom Brady on Sunday night at the Kia Forum in her hometown of Los Angeles, the audience jeered at her. The 43-year-old reality star seemed taken aback by the cold reception at the event, which was aired on Netflix as part of Netflix is a joke fest. The native of Los Angeles was heckled as soon as she entered the stage and briefly thanked 44-year-old host Kevin Hart. I know a lot of people make fun of your height, she seemed to be saying to Hart as she started a joke, but then she seemed to take a second look at her less than adoring fans outburst. At the Southern California event, Kardashian, who had blonde hair and was holding a champagne glass, tried to bring the show back on course by saying, all right, all right, all right, Kevin. Kevin then seemed to leap in and attempt damage control, saying, whoa, whoa. This is not the first time Kardashian has faced hostility from the public at a pro football event in her own community. In October 2022, she was jeered by fans during a Los Angeles Rams home game versus the Dallas Cowboys at SoFi Stadium. When the Jumbotron camera shifted from singer John Legend to the reality star, who waved and smiled before blowing a kiss, the audience at the stadium started to boo loudly. On Sunday, many individuals shared their in-the-moment responses to Kardashian's cold welcome at the comedy event on social media. A commenter commented, it's amazing how Kim Kardashian got booed at the Tom Brady roast, while another noted, they just booed Kim Kardashian. Prior to her even vouching for me LMFAO. One person commented, Kim Kardashian gets booed and Bill Belichick gets a standing ovation. The greatest thing Netflix has ever produced is the Tom Brady roast. Some commenters claimed that the public's overall tiredness with the Kardashians and their media-slash-marketing empire was reflected in the booze. You should, I guess, only go live when you have complete control over the story. The user added, Team Yeezy, to the end of their message and stated, If you don't, you'll get heckled right off the stage every time. We keep trying to tell, the powers that be, that we don't want that family in our spaces, one person commented. Nevertheless, they insist on shoving them in our faces. Several people discussed the awkward dynamic that resulted from the reality star's jeers during the live show. One person wrote, holy shit, half the crowd at the Tom Brady roast just booed Kim Kardashian so badly that she had to stop and admit it. OMG, they booed Kim Kardashian so bad, said an additional person. It was awkward to say that. The only reason the audience stopped was when Kevin requested them to. The Judgment Day, the Public Enemies podcast likened the jeers to those directed towards the villainous pro wrestling faction. The audience when Kim Kardashian took the stage to begin criticizing Tom Brady. During her performance, Kardashian made references to earlier reports that she and Brady were dating after they met at a July 4th celebration in the Hamptons last summer. I'm truly here for Tom tonight, Kardashian, who has dated NFL stars like Miles Austin and Reggie Bush in the past, stated. I wasn't planning to come tonight, but there's a good chance I might since I'm not here as Tom's date. An allusion to Caitlyn Jenner, who was once married to Kardashian's mother Kris Jenner, was also included in the set. I am aware that it would not have succeeded, Kardashian remarked. Your high cheekbones, silky hair, and ex-athlete status make you too similar to my stepdad right now. There's a part of me that believes you would want to trust me just to try on my clothes, she continued. Although I know it must have been somewhat difficult to leave the NFL, I believe my stepdad is a fantastic role model for you. Point one of the greatest athletes in the world. She demonstrated that anything is possible for you to do in this new phase of your life. You can pursue careers as a pundit, far-right Republican, or even as a self-assured, strong woman. To conclude her act, Kardashian mentioned her late father Robert Kardashian's involvement with the late O.J. Simpson's dream team of lawyers. To be honest, I find it difficult to see people make fun of you, Kim remarked. But enough, I believe to have my family members stand up for ex-football players. So I'm just here tonight to support you and celebrate you, she said in closing. I'll give you the same advice I give all of my exes, good luck knowing the best is behind you.
The comedians who were scheduled to perform at the roast of the former NFL quarterback were Tony Hinchcliffe, Sam Jay, Nikki Glaser, Andrew Schultz, Bert Kreischer, Jeffrey Ross, and Tom Segura. Along with opposing quarterback Drew Bledsoe, Brady's former New England Patriots teammates Rob Gronkowski, Randy Moss, and Julian Edelman were scheduled to make appearances. You can watch The Greatest Roast of All Time, Tom Brady on Netflix.